Hey, Brian, <laughs> are you still hiding all those dangerous runes in one place? Should I not yell that? Once upon a time there was an inspiration rune named Kleptomancy that made people playing this foam finger Ellen DeGeneres very happy because it essentially allowed you to earn extra income from poking enemy champs. Riot Games however realized that it was too well endowed with a giant o penis and removed it from the game saying and I quote those who leaned against Klepto Ezreal will no doubt know the pain of getting shot with cues as Ezreal benefited from free poke and extra income. Which is all good until what I can only assume happened all the powerful people at Riot cheated on their wives at a furry convention got divorced stopped paying alimony to their wives got sued and had to hand over the company and all the decision making power over to a group of Karens who don't even know how to spell League of Legends because they just released the Klepto 2.0 rune in first strike. Something that gives more gold than Klepto did but also grants a percentage damage buff when activated making it good throughout the game and still a value once you no longer need gold so today I am going to rock it on Twinkle Tits first with a standard AD build and then show it on my new hybrid hidden tech that I think is the most optimal Ezreal build in the game right now. So if you are excited to see the return of a rune that is actually good for Ezreal served two different ways please slap my subscribe button then check out the free and fast to enter giveaway through the link in my description where 5 people will win a sick gaming PC just note you must complete the full survey for your entries to count and let's get into the games. Ok game 1 starts out with me and my little pony the heel queefing unicorn by my side against a starving Senna slash windshitter combination and in my elo you just know that if someone both owns a Yasuo skin and plays him ADC he's probably a few fries short of a happy meal and sure enough he just kind of stands there and sucks up first blood like a dense stupid sponge. But it's almost like being stuck in lane with this little incestual jerk off sperm cell that could. Breathing his air contaminated my own genome because when we get high Nuno Obama's wife one queef from killed I make the intelligent decision emphasis on int to blink my blonde ball hairs into a bad decision which earned us a one for one trade and set up this airbending moron for a dank dive. Then we are just continuing to stamp our ticket to hell by bullying someone with chronic stupidity when counselor Jace Tallis comes down murmuring about how butt plugging some magic crystal into his hammer lets him do the flippies but unfortunately for him Soraka's hoofs are made for walking and kiting and my finger fizzlers are made for killing Jace's. We stall a bit and make sure the blue babies beat the piss out of the red ones because we have sister Sweeney Todd in the area who is like next time you see Jace tell him arcane magic has nothing on this big ass pair of scissors I carry around so I show why too much potassium is deadly and then she finishes her game of snip the Senna to finish it off. Now a little IRL lore my friends and relatives call me the master baiter and you probably think it's because I do things like catching chicks on their morning commute and slyly luring them into the forest where I have my life sized doll slash hairdresser just waiting to say surprise you a dead bitch, but it's actually because my hands practically live in my pants, to keep them warm you pervs. At this point I have the force of trinity in my sack so obviously I am eager to show it to people starting with flashing starving Senna who I'm guessing was not having a great time stuck supporting he who throws up a cosmic carbon curtain which only delayed his dumb ass demise considering he continued to pace back and forth like he just butt chugged a whole keg and has a weak bladder until he decides to get decisive and run in the wrong direction but inspector gadget was here with a slow then stun circle combo allowing me to ring pop him for the double. This leaves just Viego but I learned as a kid never get in a stranger's van just because they have candy and never blindly chase a 200 years bullshit broken champ into a bush so we lure him out and then play follow the parkouring leader. He turns so I whip out a big bursty boy which negates the wicked wind tunnel that tried to save him. Then straight back to bot to continue proving why people who play Yasuo are a subclass of humanity we have them more poked than a cadaver's asshole during a gastroenterology practical so I can go full aggro Alan on their asses and shove all kinds of static up spectral stealthy Senna shithole for the kill. And I guess the slaughter festival has alerted the masses because big floppy donkey dick ear fizz comes down trying to deliver one hell of a sardine slap but my support has more flashy heels than a high end stripper's wardrobe so fizz fizzles out and the man who's so dumb his head is only used to keep the rain out of his neck remains consistent in sucking so much ass you'd think he brought a straw. 
a party that neither me or any of my friends got invited to breaks out in river and there's a reason why I have a tattoo that reads no one excludes the Ezreal so I start by shift shittering the spectral simp lord but this puts me in a bit of a predicament as Disney's goofy costume fizz is about to flip my ass back to fountain until my guardian goat angel flashes in and both Viagra and C. Alice be real quiet with how hard this type of support play has ADC mains around the world considering I should have died 26 times there but no I'm still alive to shoot flatulent flash bombs out my fingertips another day as Sally snips a lot makes her way in to deal with the wind shitter and I tell this lasso loser to take her ratchet ass back into Thresh's lantern. Now I believe the official terminology to describe my current status was fed as fuck which can only mean one thing. But it's important to note that while my gameplay might look like I just released a group of horny hamsters onto my keyboard I was still fed due to both the power of kleptomancy 2.0 and the fact that this Yasuo was the type of player who doesn't know the ingredients to a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Where's my fishy fishy fish or my dishy dishy dish? And I'm not sure if this Viego's dad was buried around bot side grob or what but he was just determined to be laid to rest in the same area picking dumb as shit fights which was probably more likely due to tilt of dealing with a win twin on his team and while this was a wide success, I felt that a hidden hybrid build would tailor to first strike even better. So round 2 and we have a talkative non-offensive noun to call this being in chat but it was also not exactly the fairy tale starting you hope for you see we do trade support kills and then I slaughter powder who was unexplainably worse shut down but then you would have thought we were that British brothel giving away blow jobs for people who get their vaccine with how many visitors came to our lane. So at a certain point I said screw it and left lane for some squid game equality as I see a malnourished lantern Larry chasing that rock bender who gets delivered one large banana hammock courtesy of moi. Then my build still looking like I just got all the raw ingredients to make a money cotty but nothing is edible yet I run south to see the epic arcane fight scene between Jinx and Echo who must have lost the key cap on his R button but suggestion for arcane to add this is a deleted scene where my blonde ball sack does the cleanup work and then I promptly tell this loud mouth that the only pronoun they should use is a camping bitch. Call me a mid-bound twinkle shit just in time to see Malzar puke pegging their powder down for me to potassium punch her in the pisser before he too dies in service. I ring popped off and then look both ways before crossing the trees and then it's time, for my cue to abandon me as some anorexic bag of hay thinks I enjoy jump scares so I murder his ass and then say hard pass to being involved in anything that non-gender specific pronoun wants to shove up my shithole. And the kill count may have been looking bleak but I had completed enough non-synergistic items to spark this comeback. Plus their fiddle was a defective dumbass. Plus their Warwick missed his ult. Plus no one knew to focus the carries. Plus their carries were split pushing while their team was dying. So I had 4 items in my famous smorgasbord build which means when I see a full health powder basing you know what I do?
I later discovered why there were 4 people in my lane the entire first 15 minutes of this game but hey they totally helped me out if I wanted to make a bait slash click thumbnail and even though I didn't I'm pretty sure this fiddle wouldn't call it false advertising if I did. And voila the power of Klepto 2.0 plus a weird ass build and my damage ween on the charts was making everyone else look like little baby dicks. Slap my subscribe button if you enjoyed and brush your teeth tonight. Rav out. I'm on and I'm popping, I'm not gonna stop when the haters come knocking, so tell them kick rock.